What's up guys? This is the Rifleman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War. Let's play as the Kingdom of Bavaria. And in this episode, we are rampaging towards the end of this campaign as we begin our assault on the Americas. So to kick off, we have this pitiful band defending Falmouth from just sheer overwhelming firepower from Bavaria. Let's take them out. So we've got these three armies. They're going to storm down the east coast. I've got one army that's going to head towards Quebec. I've got armies that are landing in Central America, South America, the Southern US. Things are going to uh, progress quite rapidly over the next few episodes, I would imagine. But let's find out. Mostly this is an army full of militia, so they will fall quite quickly. They will find themselves retreating en masse. But let's get to it. They have no defences, so this is going to be an open field battle. Oh, you poor devils. All my guns on the high ground up here. My howitzers get ready to open up. Can't really advance unless we go all the way around the edge, which I don't really want to do. Take the entire army. They're going to march forwards. Should I send all of my cavalry on this on a flanking mission? Make sure my felt jäger are firing all off. This is going to be pretty terrifying for them. Question is, do I just try and... For the most part, I think I try and just blitz through the town. My rocket's already opening up. Oh, it's his focus on this colonial light cavalry. So that's one thing that could slow us down somewhat. Militia, militia. Hey, they are actually sending some guys around here. Interesting. Kill the enemy general. Please rout. You don't even have to leave the battlefield, just rout. Make these guys run, then I get my felt Jaeger to fire at will. Then we're just going to storm downhill and smash into those militia. Open fire onto these cavalrymen. The way is shut. It is made by those who are dead. And the dead keep it. Go, Jaeger. Open fire. To be honest, all of you. Smash the tent. Some very good close artillery support. How it's his folks on the cavalry. The 15th Regiment, hopefully, they engage infantry first. Comes the rocketry. charge on into the 15th because they're shattered. The core of this army is broken. This human reload. We're going to be on for some melee action on the right. The 
another militia unit just obliterated. Attack the 42nd. There we go. They've started to come back. They've realised, actually, do we have to run all that way? All of you men are going to blow the 31st apart. Here comes the enemy cavalry. Oh, they're upset from the rocketry again. Pull my cavalry up. I have lost a grand total of four cavalrymen. Push on into the 44th. Look at the G Liches, look at them go. Advance. Ignore the melee combat. That will be dealt with. Push past them. Charge into the 15th Regiment. And the 63rd are just going to... I mean, they're not going to be around for very long. Hit all my artillery. Cease fire. Yeah, they've broken. Form line. Fire will off. Nope, they've retreated as well. Artillery. Oh, let's, let's end it before they come back and just make it take forever. But that was a pretty blitzy attack and it went <laughs> super well. Farmouth is ours. Let's get building. Upgrade the mine. Infrastructure's good. Town's not growing, but they're going to grow rapidly soon. 5% of 5% immigration. That's pretty darn high. But you're going to have eyes on Albany. You're going to have eyes on Boston. And you're down here somewhere, aren't you? Yes. Besieging Charleston, which you will fight. But I just want to make sure everything else is shipshape in Bristol fashion. Because I want to put you, Siege Caracas. You can potentially take it now, but you're going to want to fight them. But first of all, Let's attack Charleston. Because this army will stay in Charleston because the Cherokee are going to be primed to try and declare war on us once we get a border established with them. So we're going to want to be... Make sure we don't do anything silly. We don't overextend. We're going to sit in Charleston and fortify. Wait for the armies in the north to come pushing down. South Carolina looking a lot like India. Deploy the guns back here. Dare we try the same thing again? Select everyone except the cavalry. Except the cavalry. I think we will. We're just going to drive straight into them. Drive straight into them through the town. Let the artillery counter their artillery. Just find a spot like here. Where I can run and deploy my army in one big line. Neiman advance. Make sure the artillery is engaging. Spread of targets. Okay, you men are going to swerve to intercept the colonial lights before they do too much damage. The cavalry is going to run because you want them in position sooner rather than later. Twenty of the light cavalry. 
I mean, light cavalry is good, but it is limited. You need to know when and when not to use it. Beware of the stakes. But when these volleys start landing... Okay, let's now... Once we get into the town, let's start to be a bit more... prescriptive. Let's deploy some cavalry in. She might have to engage the colonial light. My general push through. We're engaging enemy infantry. Capture the buildings up. Push around, push around. We've got a unit of militia towards the rear we need to be careful of. No, oh, no, 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 no. God damn, cavalry defenses. Trixie, run my general away. I'm going to lose my general in the pursuit. That's what's going to happen. Smash these cavalry straight through the gap. Okay, you go after the 81st. Bo and Zolan go after Colonial Light. Cavalry smash the 84th. Put artillery, focus on these colonial lights all the way in the rear. In fact, all of them focus on them. You men engage the colonial lights. You're forming up. Your Indian volunteers are firing. Sound is screwing up. Keep engaging the colonial militia. Actually, I might get my howitzers to drop shells on the right flank. They appear to be holding on. Let me be aware they are apparently after my general. couple of units sat back here. Let's bring my general back. We've already nearly lost him once. I can't lose him again. There we go. The artillery's broken the enemy here. You men engage the 11th carefully. Some of you will die to the stakes. If you get them from the right... Largely from the right directions, we'll be able to take them out. If we just don't... As long as they don't run this way, we'll be okay. Kill the enemy general. Cavalry pull back. Infantry... Form your battle line. Head over towards the 74th. They did run the wrong way, trying to lure us in. Send one infantry unit forward to support the melee attack. Push these guys through the town. Push you push through the town. These men push around the flank. Recall the cavalry. Okay, dealt with 
this regiment of infantry. Push forward. So who's that? I'm back there. Wood artillery keep firing. How it says they can limber up. But there we go. Now they're going to start to get screwed over because they're not going to be able to provide enough firepower in all directions. They're charging forwards, but our volleys are slamming home. Reloading. You men got a bit keen. Could pursue, but to be honest, there's no damn point. New man. Actually, no, don't charge them through. There's stakes there. These guys can do it. The 81st, the last men holding the line in South Carolina. Cavalrymen are tired, but they're very confident. They're encouraged because the enemy army is routing. They're forming up to face the enemy. Ceasefire, the artillery. Yeah. They too have retreated. Or have broken, they haven't retreated. They've collapsed. Nice. That's Charleston taken. We're going to need to get ready to hold this. So rebuild, build the fortifications, replenish. Yeah, you can build stuff. Popular hero. Plus one to prestige, plus four to morale. Bloody. Great general. General of infantry. Popular hero. Aggressive attacker. This guy is just a beast. Hey, now you. But Mr. Heinemann against the town. So he sieged the army inside the fortification. You men can push in and attack the army outside. So then the city does not come to their aid. And we have to fight a smaller force on the battlefield and clear out Williamsburg. Many, many, many deaths here. For the, the 13 colonies. Let's get cracking. And we'll probably take Williamsburg after this. I mean, well, that'll have broken the back of the 13 colonies for the most part. Oh, God alive. Another beautiful map just to storm forward. <laughs> I mean, this might all seem a bit samey, but it's because I'm fighting similar enemies with similar force compositions, and the terrain is just beautiful for my firepower just to tear them to pieces. Okay, right. Give everyone orders to storm. Artillery go for the Dragoons. Missed some of it. The enemy cavalry will attack us and they may hold us up a bit, but they will not change the price of fish. Engage the light cavalry on the right. Enemy reinforcements are coming in, but we don't care because they're coming in from back there, which is perfect. It's exactly the way we want to approach them, or want them to approach us. Come on, 
let's get some quick climb in this time and get slaughtering. The artillery all the way at the back engage 13th Light Horse. I thought they'd already committed, but they hadn't. Withdraw. Back to the high ground. Here comes the volley fire. Oh god, they all bundled together. Close to shooting range indeed. Excellent hits. So for the most part... Nope, there we go. Now all of the army... Storm forward, take their positions, reload, ready for the next wave. Some of them have come back. That is not enough to stop us. We are relentless. No, they broke immediately again. Artillery engaged and mounted tribal auxiliary. Howitzers switched around shot. Also engaged a tribal auxiliary. Yeah, they're running in, but as many are running away as running in. Push forward, men. How it says start dropping shells onto the enemy units that are trying to stand against us. Cavalry move up. I mean, the artillery back here up on the high ground has an exceptional view. View, view. I don't know what I was saying there. Tribal auxiliary is going to get involved in a shooting match with my cavalry. Nope, they've decided they do not want a shooting match. So a pouring volley. Oh god, the ninth foot have gone as well. company will advance. New men will smash the 44th. New men will smash the 27th. Artillery fire focus on the 52nd. Howitzers continue to drop shots in on the units on the battlefield. Yeah, these regulars have not formed into position. My dragoons are in, now my cuirassier are in. 27th are on the ropes. They're concerned because they've been attacked in the rear. Now they get to find out what that means. Pointy things in, in delicate places. Charge the 29th. Keep going. The heavy cavalry is on. Say like Waterloo. These units are so bad. Once my cavalry's been unleashed, just keep going. Beautiful. Halt fire the artillery. Get my Frycore cavalry in against the 52nd. Oh, and Zolin will beat the militia. So let's just... No, no. Oh, hey! I just let my cavalry clean up. Good victory. So that's the end. All the reinforcements for Williamsburg destroyed before they could even come to battle. They will likely raid or continue raiding, and that's okay. Actually, I may push you out. Ooh, no, 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 no. 
Mr. Tauber ran out alone. It's not what I meant at all. You are a bit vulnerable now, General. You push towards Boston. You push towards Albany. You're going to hold, because you might actually... The Iroquois may go after us. I mean, up here in Moose Factory, we can't actually recruit. Well, we want another army to come up here and take York Factory. Then this army can head south straight to Fort Sault Ste. Marie. Anyway. Mr. Heinemann. Let us take Williamsburg. <laughs> yeah, this is what I mean by... This, uh, this campaign may rapidly come to an end after a long, drawn-out series of engagements against the Mughals. And that's not... That's not necessarily a bad thing. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. We have battles to fight, wars to win. Ah, oh, rain. Deploy the guns to the rear. How it's is that? Nice. Owens all and Cheval de Gere. Push you guys forward to attack the Colonial Dragoons. Push you guys forward, get ready to attack that unit of Colonial Dragoons. Focused artillery on the demi cannons is going to take them out. Let's get my foot artillery engaging other targets. Oh, these Dragoons dismounted. Recall. Okay, this infantry, to be honest, all of it, just run into position. Start opening up on the rangers. Got the howitzers to start quick climbing. Fifty-eighth are being pushed back. They are. They will likely come back from routing. You men get up here. You men hold. Get ready to pour fire on this unit of rangers pushing in. These are marines and engineers engaging them. It's a lot of men killed in the first volleys. Push up into the muzzles of the guns. Okay, Chevrolet Leger. Get pushing around the flank. Same with my Hohenzollern. General hold ground in the center. My artillery, my foot artillery to work on the cavalry to the rear. It's light cavalry. Oh, they seek to counter my heavies. I'll send my heavies in. My horse grenadier guards will go around. Nope, they backed off. my cavalry around the enemy. Lots of units breaking. Run these guys forward to engage the tribal auxiliary that contains the general, no less. It's 
So you men hit the hit the rangers, you men storm in and start to attack the rear of this formation. Lots of units are, ra are wavering. Running, running in position to block. Enemy generals falling back to the town center. Shattered, shattered, attack the 58th. Shattered, broken. Okay, right, you guys. Ignore that engagement, storm forward. New men pivot to re engage enemy units on the right. Yeah, my howard says to fire a round shot at the, at the auxiliary. Attack the field 45th. Pull back my Chevalier, push in my Hohenzollern. Just fire all the artillery. You men get involved in the combat, don't actually do anything else. These units just push through the town. Chase them off. Cavalry do not pursue. Look at them falling back. These communists are all cowards. Good, 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 good. Ebenezer Dobson. Is that you? That must have been the enemy. Good, Williamsburg is ours. Let's get territory upgraded. Get the fortifications built. We've got a barracks here, which will be useful to build a colonial defensive army. There's an army here at Annapolis. But uh, they they may be in a bad spot next turn. So you're already recruiting. You're already pushing up to Antigua. You're pushing down to Bogota. You've got Caracas under siege. So you may attack this army that's coming in to try and reinforce. We may not necessarily attack Krakus all at once. Or at least this turn, because we're not blitzing. Well, we're fairly blitzing anyway, so... Uh, trying to do a bit more than that is potentially a bit overkill. Let's get popping. Let's get... <laughs> Yep, I'm really keen to get some good battles underway. Ultimately, the Bavarian episode, the Bavarian campaign, will likely be replaced by a Native American one, which will probably be a long campaign rather than world domination, because with Darth Maud and stuff, it runs into the same problem as some of the other nations in that the roster can be a bit limiting. Good, good, good. Okay, bond up. You could do with some actual mortars in this in this army, but I don't think they're going to get it. Push, push, push. So the enemy artillery is under significant fire. It will get better once we start to fold in some of these blanking forces. There goes, uh, there goes one unit of Sakers. Colonial Light Cavalry, are they charging? They are. They seek to interrupt. And again, because it's raining, I've got sound shenanigans. 
They've immediately stopped charging because we've got we formed our squares. My skirmishers should take pot shots at the colonial light cavalry. And the Freukor can if they can do it in time. They can. Boom! Excellent. Charge the colonial lights, you men. Reload, charge, not the colonial light, the colonial line. Get popping out of square. Push up. Form up. Again, sadly, because I don't know why I've installed, uninstalled and installed the game multiple times and I keep getting this issue whenever it rains. So you can keep attacking the 25th. Make ready and fire. You may just attack the militia. Pivot the Jaegers so they fire more into the central block. Let's retarget the artillery try and smash through their center if we can break the 13th okay she might do it regardless send a unit of marines into the engagement here then spread my line out here a bit more efficiently kill the 25th Look at this guy he's a bit bold Sure, he'll be fine. There you go. Light infantry are beginning to pepper the enemy gunners. But the enemy have been so rapidly obliterated. We're going to send units in to assault the gunners rather than relying on them being shot. Our infantry can come out of light infantry behaviours, form up against the new. Well, not necessarily the new, the previous threat. Although they may just swarm them with my cavalry. New men swarm on into the 12th. they got some units at the back. But I'm afraid they will not live long enough. Jaeger, just fire it will off. There's no point trying to shoot into this combat because you'll probably kill my cavalry more than the enemy from this angle. Here come my marines charging in against the 12th regiment. They're going to get sliced to pieces with their fancy hats. Nice, nice, nice. Who's that back there? Burning your militia. Okay, let's pop this on. Fast forward, because there's only one unit of colonial militia who will break almost immediately. Oh, they didn't. It was their general. Ah, oh, see, now there's a colonial line infantry regiment trying to hold off. Yeah, we've got them too. Good. I'm even more inclined to get uh, rainy battles done quickly because they're just not as f they're just lame really. The so men are going to re replenish. Like I said, we're going to siege Caracas. We're not going to attack it right now because I, I would like a little bit of a break. Um, but you're holding because you're a, you have to make a decision now what you're going to do. Louisiana will soon be at war. This I think the name of the game now is to. First, check to make sure we've got no... Well, you mean York sailing out to York Factory. No spare armies hanging around. Cool. Let's hit and turn. I would imagine it will not take long. There are not many nations left in the world.
Yeah. Quick, call my allies. The interesting thing is how many of their allies will come in. None. Ah, they're going to Sally. In which case, I'm going to have a quick break and then I'll get back to fighting. So just a second, everyone, and I'll see you in the action. And I'm back. Right. Let's take this new Spanish... Well, let's destroy this new Spanish garrison. We're not going to take the city itself. They are sallying. So they want to mess with the bull and get the horns. We're going to form up, form our line, bombard the bejesus out of them, and watch them break and run. And the only thing we may do that's more offensive is if their artillery decides to not leave the city, we may have to break down a wall and charge, or potentially um, scale the walls, capture a gate, so we can get our cavalry in. And in classic... America's style. The map is like a billiard table. Perfect, really, because it allows us to bring so much of our firepower to bear. There we go, something like that. Okay, keep my Gurkhas behind the lines. Keep... Oh, I nicked one of my... I've nicked two of my units. So let's nick... I think both these elite Jaegers dropped them on the right. So my right flank is the weaker one, but it's the one that's going to get the most... If push comes to shove, the most artillery support. Actually, they can get my Gurkhas. And they got some sharpshooters there as well. It's not that weak, actually. Trap nor sharp. No, no, shrap nor sharp. Them. Good hits, good hits. A lot of dead cavalrymen. In the meanwhile, take it. Just a second. Apologies. Right. Colonial lights is worth. I mean, they're going. They're going to get obliterated by the artillery. Quick climb just annihilated the third regiment. So as they get within range, I'm going to want to hit them with quick climb. You're less useful. Get my light cavalry sharpshooters out on the flank. It's a whole lot of dead Spaniards. Trap was shot, engage the sixth. You men engage the sixth as well. They're not all bunched up. So yeah, they only killed a handful back there. Some have detonated prematurely. I always keep checking because yeah, like look at that. I did not change those. I did not change the effects. Oh, that's a lot of dead cavalrymen. Yeah, they have to break. The new men engage the seventh. She men engage the seventh as well. Yeah. 
So, so many casualties. Engage the native bowman auxiliary. Some of these are probably going to come back. Some of them probably will, but I don't think. Ah, oh, bowman auxiliary pushed forward. Got some hits against the Regiment of Pike. We're focusing on the 7th. Some more hits. These poor fellows are going to get ripped to pieces by musket attacks. Yep, yeah, there they go. So things to watch out for. Yeah, I just... That just crossed my mind. Oh, wait a minute. Are they just going to come back from routing on the right flank? And sure enough, they did. If they get hit, a good hit with quick line, they're done for. I charge with my cavalry, which isn't ideal, because they are skirmish cavalry, first and foremost. However, here come the Gurkhas. Kill as many of them as you can to shatter them. I think they're in prime position to see they've come back as well. Go get them, Gurkhas. You men switched to round shot. Both of you guys switched to round shot, really. Get attacking the wall. Now it says switch to round shot. Stop. Ooh! So that's a miss from aiming at the wall. Okay, I switched artillery targets. And that's provoked their cavalry into charging, which is nice. Okay, speed up time. So we're starting to knock our way in. Send you guys to shrapnel shot the fourth light horse. So they're coming in. Fire at will. Excellent shot by the shrapnel. Keep engaging them as they run. There we go. Now it's time to drop power to shells inside. They can't afford to sit outside while we destroy them. And we're going to wait for them to. We're going to wait for them to leave the safety of the fort. Then we'll just jump on them. As it is, our howitzers are going to be doing. Some good work. And we are going to keep attacking at one section of the wall. So we definitely have a way in. Happy to let the general run around and do general things. Yeah, we lost a couple of guys, but what's important is we're getting in. Should I let my howitzers engage the light horse? Because once we get in, the cow the artillery is going to collapse anyway. The second light horse are making a brave stand. They change their mind. Good hits, good hits. Okay, good. Speed up time. Get ready to select all my cavalry and right click the enemy center. 
foot artillery, all of you engage this section of wall. Howitzers plink at their general. Ninety eight percent, one more volley. Run everyone in. Generals retreated to the very back of the fort. Tim, my cuirassier one. Actually, yeah, cuirassier after the general. My sharpshooters can go after the guns. Yeah, yes, yeah, bad times for you guys. Kill the enemy general. Hurrah! <laughs> oh, we're fighting so many battles this turn, it's a bit silly. So they're sending some troops around to raid. You're blockading some of our ports, but we just don't care. Do we want to intercept? No. Um, Retirata! They demand 660,000 gold, which I could handsomely pay, because I have 2.8 million, but no. I'm surprised the Cherokee didn't join them, to be honest. That's a very classic AI. Well, that would have been. New port emerges. Tampico in Spain. Let's build a sloop. Send this agent up to Santa Fe. New port emerges. Ah, oh, but we nicked it right as they're about to get a port. Good stuff. Get my general back here. Mr. Talbot. Fort blockaded Demerara. Don't mind. Fair exchange. Okay, right. Fine, I'll have a fishery. Look a turn. There we go. Tea warehouse, my saw gets a new seminary. We've got all the old buildings that did have um, research institutions in them. Okay, right. Be good. Okay, right, right, right. Oh yeah, we have a front with the Louisianans here. Yeah, so let's send one army towards them to threaten them. You get recruiting a garrison army. And then we have bum bum bum. bum. So one of you. Well, I may deploy two of you over here. Deploy you all together, because then you can fight over Texas, head east, north, and northwest. Or ultimately, I could just sprint for Texas, knock them out completely. These ships are going to be bait, effectively, for... Uh, Louis, the Louisiana army. Oh, we can sail straight to Boston. Okay, the movement didn't stop. Put them under siege. You know, land here. We'll land two armies, so they're not isolated. They've got support. Come on. 
Excellent. I'm going to make sure that's all of the armies deposited. Okay, get to Yorktown. Good, good, good. We want you. Declare war on the Huron and bring them all in. Because you're going to land the York Factory, then you'll eventually go off the Plains Nations. And you effectively push towards Fort Salt St. Marie. And you will recruit militia just in case we get a bit desperate. So you are attacking Boston. And you just declare war on Quebec. God alive. This is getting this is getting out of hand. You're gonna go here and hold. As are you. And what I'm probably going to want to do is take you and engage Tyrell Hooker to keep Boston safe. Oh, actually, yeah, that's an auto resolve right there. They're already really depleted. In which case, then, looking at the timer, because we need to end the episode, I believe the thing to do is to take Oscar Holtz. And attack Boston. But looking at... Oh, this is a bit dodgy, actually, because you've not got much artillery. Okay, they're going to focus on making a breach first. Um, but, looking at the timer... Oh, it's Oliver Mannering. Main wearing. <laughs> anyway, for the third time. Looking at the timer, I believe it's time to end the episode. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed. And we'll see you next time in the in my Total War... Empire Total War campaign as Bavaria. Cheers, everyone. Mm -hmm.